Hi, I'm Miss Bridget, and I'm here to bring you preschool story time today. I'm so excited. But before we get into that, let me tell you what we have going on here. So on Tuesdays, we have Babies and Books at 9.30 a.m. with Miss Farmery. On Wednesdays, we have Stories for Twos and Threes, also with Miss Farmery at 9.30 a.m. On Thursdays, you're with me at Preschool Storytime at 9.30 a.m. And on Fridays at 6 p.m., Miss Sage will be doing a pajama story time. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you can know when we're posting new videos. I'd like to thank Simon & Schuster and Scholastic for their permission to post these videos for you all. Let me know in the comments what you're up to and what you're reading during this time. I'm super excited to get into story time. So let's get to it. So I like to start preschool story time with a little hello song so that I can say hello to you and you can say hello to me. And it has a bit of sign language in it. It's called Hello Friends. So the first sign that we're gonna use is the sign for hello, which is a little salute like this. We also use the sign for friends, which is like one finger on each hand, like they're friends and they're just hugging it out and that is friends. So here we go on the count of three. One, two, three. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends. It's time to say hello friends. All righty. Now that I've said hello to you and you've said hello to me, let's get started. I brought a book about one of my favorite characters and his name is Bear. Now Bear has trouble sleeping, Bear gets hungry all the time and sometimes Bear even feels scared. He's a really big guy, but Bear is just like everyone, he gets scared sometimes. So this is Bear Feels Scared by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman. In the deep dark woods by the strawberry veil, a big bear lumbers down a small crooked trail. Bear's tummy growls and he looks for a snack, but it's cold, 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 so the bear turns back. His home, oh, he is not yet home when the sun starts to set and the bear feels scared. Bear shakes and he shivers as the storm starts to howl. Bear mutters, what is that? Are there spooks on the prowl? Oh, I don't know, Bear. The path gets dimmer and the sky grows gray. Bear looks to and fro, but he can't find his way. He huddles by a tree and he wails, oh, poor me. And the bear feels scared. Meanwhile, back in the warm, cozy lair, friends start to worry for their poor lost bear. It's late, Mouse squeaks. Our bear doesn't roam. There's a storm, cries Hare. Shouldn't bear be home? Wren tweets from his perch. We must all go search. What if Bear feels scared? Mm. The friends bundle up and begin to prepare. They form a search party for their lost friend Bear. But Bear is all alone and he sheds big tears. There's a noise in the forest and he feels big fears. Bear trembles in the wind and he longs for a friend and the bear feels scared. Badger lights a lamp and he shouts, let's go. All the birds search high while the rest search low. With a flounce and a flutter, they set off together. They trudge down the trail through the wild, wet weather. They call, ho oh, bear, are you there? Are you there? And the bear feels scared. Will they find him? I don't know. But he perks up his ears. Is that mole calling out? 
And is that Hare's voice? Does Bear hear him shout? Wren, Owl, and Raven all squeak from the sky. <gasps> it is Bear! He is there! <gasps> and they sigh big sighs. By the tree waits Bear, ten feet from his lair. And the bear looks scared. With a flap and a flurry, all the friends gather near. They give bear hugs and they calm his bear fears. Later in the night, all clustered in a heap, the bear spins stories while his friends fall asleep. Cuddled all tight, they snore through the night and the bear feels safe. And that's the end of Bear Feels Scared. So now that we've read our first story, I think there might be some wiggles around parents. If you are feeling wiggly as well, feel free to partake in this. But let's see, can we uh, wiggle our fingers? Okay. Can you wiggle your toes? I'm going to trust you that you're doing it. Okay, can you wiggle your shoulders? Oh, the other way. The other way feels good too. Can you wiggle your nose? Hmm, let's all take some time during this time to make sure we're practicing wiggling our noses. All right, now there are no more wiggles left in me and I will sit as still as still can be for our next story. Who's about someone that has a really hard time sitting still? The Very Impatient Caterpillar by Ross Barak. Okay. <gasps> hey, what are you guys doing? We're gonna go metamorphosize. <gasps> Do you know what metamorphosize means? Hmm. Meta what now? transform into butterflies. <gasps> right, right. I knew that. <gasps> Wait, you're telling me I can become a butterfly? Yes. With wings? <gasps> yes. For real? <gasps> yes. Wait for me. <gasps> okay. Now what? Build your chrysalis. Chrysalis, right, right. I knew that. <gasps> what? How did you do that? Is it a spin or is it more of a twirl? Hmm. Am I a butterfly yet? <sighs> okay. Now what? Just be patient and let nature take its course. Right, right. Patience. I got this. Am I a butterfly yet? No. How about now? No. Now? No. Be patient. I have a question. Not yet. You don't even know what I was going to ask. Okay, fine, ask. Hey, how's your day going? And also, am I a butterfly yet? No, just be patient. Oh, shh. <gasps> We're trying to metamorphosize. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Obviously, I know this. But do you know how long this whole thing takes? Two weeks. Right, right. Two weeks. <gasps> Two weeks? Is that a long time? I think that might be a long time. Oh, what am I gonna do in here for two weeks? Hey, 
Can I get a comic book or something? What if I want a snack? Hello? Two pizzas, please. My address? Uh, chrysalis? Click. Hello? Hello? How long have I been in here? What if I have to go to the bathroom? Hey, anyone want to play a game? It's still day one. This is taking forever. That's it. I've had enough. Mm. But I wonder. Look out, world. Feast your eyes on this beautiful butterfly. Oh, is he a butterfly yet? Uh, how do I look? Transformed? Okay. Time to spread my wings and fly. Wait! Where are my wings? Oh, slap. Okay. All right, time for a new approach. Hmm, I wonder what he'll do. Okay. You can do this. You can be patient. Oh my kidding, I can't be patient. You, you are a little caterpillar that could. I'm a little caterpillar that couldn't. Get a grip, you can. I can, I can, you can, I can't. Meanwhile, outside the chrysalis, Patience is all in the mind. Be one with the chrysalis. Deep breath in and out. Look, it's already day six. I'm doing it. Day seven, just be patient. Day eight, day nine, day 10, day 11, two weeks later. <gasps> Did he do it? Let's see. <gasps> I did it! I'm a beautiful butterfly! <gasps> oh, look at his wings! Wow! <gasps> you know, I do feel transformed. And starting now, I'm going to be way more patient. That's great. Hey, where are you all going? Oh, we're migrating. Migrating, migrating. Right, right, wait for me. Are we there yet? Ugh. And that's, oh, there he is. That's the end of the very impatient. Because sometimes it's really hard to wait to leave your cocoon. All right, my friends, it's time for us to sing our goodbye song. Now, hello was a little salute like this. Uh, so goodbye is actually this. We fold our hand in half like a piece of paper. And I think today we'll sing goodbye books. So our sign for books we're gonna hold our hands together and open and close them kind of like a butterfly flaps its wings and that is books. So we will sing goodbye books on the count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. Goodbye books. Goodbye books. Goodbye books. It's time to say goodbye books. All right, goodbye everyone. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow for Miss Sage doing pajama story time at 6 p.m. And I will see you all next Thursday at 9.30 right here on our YouTube channel. Bye-bye.